jumping in the pool. Um, so we left Chicotera this afternoon and we took a train from Chicotera to um, Pisa. And from Pisa station we took a train to Florence, so it's, it was about an hour. We just arrived at Florence right now. Cosmo. That's Cosmo, patriarch of BTG family. He basically invented uh, accounting that we know right now. the most beautiful sunset that evening. I heard that this place is a local favorite uh, recommended by our tour guide and it was so beautiful and nice. Surprise! We got to watch an opera performance which was spectacular. Everything about Florence is just so amazing. We just love being here. The art, the food, the history, the list just goes on and on. Wow, that fountain looks so much more impressive than that. Then we went to look for the best gelato place in Florence and this place is recommended by a local. Um, so the lines are really long around midnight still, but uh, it was worth it because the gelato was amazing. It's our first full day here at Florence. We just got up. A beautiful, beautiful garden they have built in this open space that they have. Um, so basically like separates our guest house to their main house, like main apartment. Um, it's really beautiful. And we are sort of like walking distant to the train station as well as the uh, main downtown area, which is sort of like the central zone where you get to see all the great museums and all their like fun places to explore around Florence um, and so far from our yesterday's like little exploration we have to say that um, we just love it here like we love it way more than Rome just, the streets are much cleaner in terms of scale it was much smaller so that really helps um, around the Dumo area they don't allow um, cars to drive anymore so it's like walkable areas so it's really calm and like um, nice and clean so we really love it we have uh, a tour appointment set up in the later in the afternoon around 3 30 but before that we're planning to just like walk around the city and go to the mercado for like breakfast obviously like i'm not as energetic as um i should be because i'm really excited but i'm kind of tired too we've been traveling back and forth non-stop and walking like almost like 20,000 steps minimum like per day um but yeah, that's our agenda and I'll um, record some videos, but I probably won't be talking. And just like exploring and appreciating art, um, history, and being with Brandon. <laughs> We 
are gonna walk towards Ponti Ponti Vichu Ponti Vichu Bridge. We're walking to get Brandon's favorite pizza. I don't know if um, it will live up to Brandon's expectations, but hopefully that's uh, going to be the case. And we're gonna continue with Big Steve's Renaissance Walk audio guide. And then after that, we had a personal tour guide to show us around Uffizi. We're on 3.30, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go up to the bell tower. <laughs> about 20 minutes. Excited? In the 12, 13, 14, 15, I mean. Incredible collection of four because people, these are the realistic of the most important. reservation to have the Florentine, the famous Florentine steak. Normally I would not eat steak, but since we're in Florence, once in Florence, kind of have to do it. Yes. 
perfect amount of food. Uh, last night in Florence. We love Florence. How do you say we love in um, Italian? I have no idea. Amore Florence. Amora. Firenze Amore. This is Dumo in the evening. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, the video doesn't do any justice. You have to see this in person because it's all made with marbles of different colors green, red, and white. Just so majestic and so just like out of the world kind of like artwork. And that's the bell tower by Giotto. Oh my god, the chili got in my eye. So last day in Florence, we are going to a church where Leonardo da Vinci and I believe some other famous people were buried. Like a glazed donut. Hi, Florence. Arrivederci. 